executive director at the Stanley Theater. Uh, I've been working here for a little bit over a year. Uh, it uh, is a very exciting place to work because the uh, theaters like this are not in every uh, city in America, especially in the uh, small markets like Utica is. The theater was designed by an architect named Thomas Lamb. It was built in 1928 and uh, Everything that you see in the lobby here and in the seating areas, it's all original. Uh, so it has been renovated, so there's new carpeting possibly, but all the lighting fixtures, all the seating that's in there, which has been a real... built in 1914 and it was rebuilt in 1978 with an Italianate style feel to it, the marble pillars. And I'm the executive director here at the Utica Zoo. It's a new position for me so I'm as excited and as in awe about the zoo as our visitors. Uh, the zoo will be 100 years old in 2014, so we're getting ready to plan a big party. Speaking of parties, our baby lion, Donovan, will be one year old in May, so we're going to have a birthday party. The Utica Zoo is probably one of the best kept secrets in our community. It's, uh, it's been around a while, it's had its ups and downs, but we're really at a peak right now. We have beautiful grounds, a lot of animals in our exhibits, and a staff and a board that are very excited about seeing the zoo be a great place to visit in Utica for many, many years to come. We have about 75 to 80 ex uh, different species, and that counts as about 200. That Utica is not only home to an amazing zoo, we're right next door to a ski slope and an amazing golf course, right in the middle. And I think it's important that they know that we're here and we're doing great and that everyone should come visit.